welcome back in Explomo. It has been a long time, Belgium is out of lockdown and the place you're about to see now is again, it has been a long time, a Belgium millionaire's mansion. And a special thing about this mansion which I really love is that this man did a lot of good things for modern society and everything. So let's tell you his story. First of all, he was a general practitioner. So he had his own clinic here in his mansion. And besides that, this man actually was the owner of a huge, large scaled non-profit organization. And this non-profit organization stands for the well-being, but also the development of children. And yeah, this man was a very well-minded person. And today we are exploring the aftermath of his beautiful mansion with all respect, because we don't want to attract any vandalists or thieves we decided to not show the exterior of this property and we will show you the inside in each and every aspect so enjoy watching this video as we will guide you around hey there is me again we're standing in this majestic living this is where moreno actually just did the intro and we're gonna show you the details in here because this this is pretty crazy yeah it's actually very very modern i this mean television it's not old, not at all, but you can tell a thick layer of dust. Yeah, so that's clearly evidence that the place has been abandoned, but not for a very long time. No, no. Let, let's say that first, because people might think, huh, how can this place be abandoned? Also, because it's in Belgium, electricity is still transmitting. Yeah, indeed, indeed. But this place, this is just top notch. I mean, it's unbelievable. I think it's the most untouched mansion we ever explored. Definitely. Well, actually, this was like one of those Asian type cabinets. And I saw them before in France. They're really beautiful and I think people just really loved them if they had an artistic sense. And all right, I just first want to show you this. You see CDs over there. Actually Mozart, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's classic music. So, what would be inside of here? Oh my gosh. Was this like a recorder? Yeah. Man, I've never seen something like this with my own eyes, only in the movies. No, me neither. I was so surprised when they showed me this. This is actually really unique. Well, this mansion, it has a lot of surprises, so make sure to keep on watching till the very, very end. And, by the way, don't forget to mention this. Yeah, I mean, have a look at the details. It's all just carved in the wood. Wow. Yeah, like I said, I just love this cabinet. What's actually down beneath it? Alright. Well, also over here you can clearly see some traces of dust. Old LP player, yeah. spiders. Yeah, this was another DVD recorder, I think. Indeed. We we'll close everything properly again because we want to leave this place in the untouched state it is. Indeed. And have a look over here, I mean, such majestic furniture. And it's actually so comfortable to sit yeah, in. They're they're really nice. Wow, have a look. There's one over here. There's one over there. And then there is the large sofa over here. So let's give you a tour in the rest of the mansion. You just saw only a very tiny corner, and there is so much more to see. So wow. this was their main sitting corner, I guess. Indeed, indeed. And then the majestic fireplace. Also pretty modern, but still very cool. Yeah. They definitely tried to turn something old into a slightly more modern taste. Can I open it up? Maybe it's stuck. No, I can tell. Well, we don't want to break anything, of course. Out of respect for the deceased person, the doctor, the owner of the non-profit organization for children who live there. And this is really cool, the bellows. 
to blow air into the fireplace and light up the fire. It's so unique. We only saw it in castles in France, but it's rather uncommon to find it in Belgium. Yeah. But this is typical Belgium. These lamps, and they are just lovely. Be surprised. Oh my gosh. I mean, I can literally turn up my light right now. You can see the warm color of the lamp, which is still working. Yeah, so crazy. I mean, I think for many people watching now around the world, it is so hard to believe that this place is actually left deserted. Well. But you can feel the cobwebs literally everywhere when we are walking here. You can see traces of dust. And we are definitely not the first urban explorers to be inside, so and it is clearly not inhabited for at least a year. Yeah, definitely. And there's also some traces of mold. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyways, to mention one last time about the fireplace, the pillars are absolutely unique. Now, let's show you the rest of the surprises which we will find in this unique Belgian millionaire's mansion. Raymond is gonna close the door because we want to keep it a surprise because the hallway was personally my favorite thing yeah, about the mansion. Amazing. Well, on your left, this is a very, very unique Jesus statue. This is really detailed. Yeah, I just love that to find religious artifacts in these Belgian places because nowadays people don't tend to be that religious anymore as they were. No, and actually, you like, you know I like to say it, marble. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Completely marble. Wow. Anyways, what's over, over here? here? You have um, like this cabinet and we had the, the, like they used to keep drinks in there, you know? Yeah. It's, it's always... It like, was like, like liquor glasses. Yeah, indeed. So they just had all their shot glasses here and these liquor dispensers, and they just put all the drinks inside of here. And we're not gonna show this into detail, but this is about the company of the man. It's a certificate he received. We don't wanna go into detail because this place just should be protected from people with bad intentions. But this over here, this is cool. This is actually a traditional Belgian liquor and it's Geneva, an old one. Five years old, it is saying. Yeah. Well. And what is actually pretty specific in here is they had a very Asian vibe. Yeah. Don't you think? They had so many different influences and yeah. I think the man loved traveling back in his glorious days. Definitely, I mean he had a lot of money. That was one thing for sure, but he earned it. He earned money with a good cause. Over here also the window it's has smashed. been partly broken. What's this, man? Is this like a book? Yeah, it is a book. But There's like dares on the sides. And it's called um, a year. It's like a year book or something. Oh yeah, I can see that. Damn, it's all with small sentences about the years. Pretty cool. All right, let's put it back between those very unique dares. So, actually, have a look over here. Wow. It's so detailed. Man, these faces, they are just gorgeous. I love the pattern on them. There is also a card playing game. And these are some family pictures. Yeah, we're gonna blur out all the faces just out of respect for the privacy of those people. But you get the idea, a lot of personal pictures are left. Indeed. This is also very cool. Yeah, it's donkey. It's only missing one broken leg. I was told so we don't have to touch it. <laughs> also over here, another one of these faces. Those ones are truly wonderful. Anyways. Going to another corner. And let's point out this. Because the artwork in here, damn. Yeah, only the way how it's made, like the cover of this inmate shelf. And the way it's just preserved. 
Yeah, it's so well preserved, the Walls China collection over here. Man, I think we will never see anything like this again in Belgium, to be honest. No. We filmed a lot of cool places in Belgium, but yes. this one is top notch. And this one is ultimately rare to find. Definitely. I mean, also have a look here on the wooden table with the pattern. Unbelievable, man. Also these rocked chairs, they definitely tell that the man was luxurious. Definitely. And yeah, over here, also some small artifacts. Duck head over here. <laughs> it was actually a beer opener. Well, it might be nice to so show this. This is a less recent picture, so we will just show it to you so you get an imagination of the past family. And this was the actual doctor. The man which owned this place. There is also still wood for the fireplace just left behind. I mean, it has never been moved. This is crazy. So we have experienced a lot of crazy things inside of an abandoned place, but Raymond just showed you the lamp which was still working. And that is definitely not the only electricity driven thing which is still working. <laughs> Man, this is looking so funny on the camera. I guess I will have to do this episode completely on my own. Man, I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> also have a look on this grand chandelier. And on the table, I think this was a picture album. Let's have a look, oh yeah. A lot of family pictures and have a look what a beautiful family it was. Wow. I'm wondering if the relatives are actually still alive. I don't know how old the pictures exactly are. The man definitely had a good style. Back in these days. Some more child pictures. Yeah, you get the point. This photo book is full of pictures and sadly enough the cover is getting my mold. Have a look. Such a shame to leave these memories neglected. And in the middle of the table, we had some flowers and again, this beautiful unique face. I think this was for Vinegar or maybe some liquor. So over here you can see them exactly sitting on the same table. The man. You can tell he's old. I'm, I've blurred out his face, but still, he had a woman, a very lovely wife. And yeah, times change and when you pass away, you cannot take your possessions with you and this is the aftermath of it. So we're going to the next room which was attached to the living. Have a look. Oh my gosh, the last time I saw a piano like this was definitely in France. We will first give you a slight overview of what the room looked like as a wall. This is just so, so, so special. Yeah, it's definitely showing a lot of elegance as well. There's a teapot on the ground. Over here rotary phone and this is also quite old school I mean we've been growing up with these things but they definitely existed some time ago yeah well not gonna show the rest because it's saying the address and we want to keep that a secret of course well I think that's one thing for sure seems like this is just some paperwork and just some random storage indeed mostly papers Actually on top of the cabinet there is also so much to see. Also some classic oil lamps. Yeah, it's just... I think some of the documents might be personal. Oh! 50 lira from Turkey. For real? Yeah. Well, the man definitely had a passion for traveling. That's obvious by now. Well, what is in there? Oh 
No way. All oh, the glass are hurt. <laughs> Man. They look so good. Actually, used. didn't expect it, but it looks so satisfying, dude. Yeah. It's still perfectly arranged, and it's happy to see that the place has such little vandalism. And over here, you had a table in the middle. And actually, right next to it, beautiful piano made in the capital of Belgium, Brussels. And let's check out. Indeed, let's do the test. That one is still perfect working. I think all the chords are still. Ooh. Yeah. I mean, this one is tuned. It's still sounding very, very good. Wow. And you can still hear the last tunes Indeed. while we are showing these paintings to you. And this one is of a very big size. Actually, this one reminds me of an urbex location in Belgium. We've never documented it, but it's called the Kettle Farm. And it's actually representing a typical Belgian farm back in the 16th, 17th century, uh, 1960s, 1970s. And you know which detail I really like? If you look right over there, you see it in between the, the um, how do you call it? Where? Like right over there. Oh yeah. You have the angel in the in the glass bulb. Yeah, the religious the statue. The religious statue. Man, yeah. This is so well detailed. Definitely credits to the artist of this beautiful painting because this is representing a Belgium farm's life. Oh, we're not a television. It seems one was not enough. Indeed. Well, follow us to the kitchen. That was actually a pretty huge one. Yeah, it was. Have a look. And actually the kitchen is quite plain, don't you think? Yeah. It's just a simple kitchen. Definitely enough for the primary needs, but... Definitely. Yeah. The laundry. <laughs> Literally clothes are still drying here. I'm wondering when they were exactly placed on the drying line. Wasn't this like for medicines? Maybe, yeah, it looks like one of these medicines, chefs. And you were right, man. Oh, yeah. Well, it was an elderly man. <laughs> Actually, you have a look at the ceiling as well. <laughs> Very colorful. Yeah, for sure. Well, this was their dining table. Over here is also still a refrigerator. And, um, yeah. What do you think? I don't think it's filled, man. No, it's emptied out. There's some medicines inside. Okay, that's pretty strange. Yeah, quite uncommon for a fridge. And then there are some more cabinets over here. Oh, all these shoes. Some cleaning tools. Even more glasses, man. Also some crystallized ones. Yeah, there are so many, dude. So we close everything in the way we find it, always. It's actually like you can press them. All the plates. Oh yeah, man. Well, I guess just all of these cabinets are filled. People get the point, this place is completely untouched and free of vandalism. Let's go on. Oh, they definitely also had animals, they had a dog. There was still dog food on the ground. I didn't even notice it at first glance. Over there you can see the bag where it used to be in. <laughs> so, so, so crazy man. I'm just flabbergasted about the location. Aren't yeah, you? it's very hard to believe that this place is left neglected, but people should experience what we are experiencing now. I mean, each 10 seconds I'm feeling a cobweb here and there yeah. around my it's face. actually so, so, so insane. I mean, like, how can so, you know, how can things 
become neglected so fast and so quickly. Yeah, maybe the family lives far away. I don't know. Because the company the man owned, the non-profit organization, was a international company. Yeah. It was established in America. Eight, yeah, 80 countries. Like 18 particles of countries. Unbelievable, dude. Anyways, maybe we can open some shelves. Show them that the, those ones are probably also still completely stuffed. How do I open them? I think on the right side. Oh yeah, like that. Yeah, there is a toaster. <laughs> and on the other side is also stuffed. Yeah. Well, maybe it's time to go on yeah. to another part. Because we don't want our videos to be a little too long, but we are always very detailed with our tours and we want to make sure to show you everything that we are also able to see by our videos. This was a little hallway, still some nice Belgian beers. Jubilair, it's definitely one of our favorites. Yeah, this was just all for storage and cleaning. And it seems that they also did the laundry over here. Washer standing here. And then actually, it makes us go to the basements. Indeed. So let's go one level down. There is another one of these Geneva bottles. They were from 8080. You are making it very mysterious, Raymond. Yes. <laughs> Have a look, some pots and pans. A fryer. Yeah, it's always with these basements. You never know what to expect. Have a look. Those ones were actually used to store wine. We found them a lot in Italy. Actually, never saw these ones in Belgium. You can tell that we used to travel a lot. Definitely. Yeah. These, these aren't made in Belgium. No. Nah. Man, yeah, this was the power room. As you can tell, for sure. This looks disgusting on the wall. What's this over here? Oh, it's fluted. Yeah. Well, I guess we have to make our way through. I have no clue, but I really want to find out. Let's enter the mysterious dungeon and let's see where it ends. This is why I'm so, so secretly walking over here. It's hard, man. Oh yeah, this was, this was some more crates to store some bottles. This was a garage. Oh, and here you are. There is no cars left behind. Strange enough. Even more generators for electricity supply. Oh, 
I'm covered in cobwebs again. I want to get out of here. All right, we're going back upstairs and we're going to show you the rest. This beautiful millionaire's mansion has to walk. All right, we're standing in the main hallway right now. This was the actual main entrance of the house. And it's so majestic. Imagine coming in here each and every day. No words, like literally the chandelier on top, the grand carpet in the middle, and then the rest. Truly amazing. The umbrellas still left at the main entrance. Over here, beautiful painting. Oh, there's even some taxidermy over here. Have a look. <laughs> so unique. There's another painting over here. And this hallway, it's so unique in all different aspects. Also this secretary desk. I'm trying to open it without demolishing anything. Have a look. Always love these secretary desks. Oh man. It's very detailed. Yeah, this looks, I don't know, African, Egyptian? I've got no clue. Over here. What I also really like is the painting. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that one is unique. And over here there's even a globe, so you can tell you love traveling. Let's see where we are now. Right over here, you can see it. The very tiny, small country of Belgium. Have a look where Raymond is standing. Man, these arches, they are beautiful. And this is actually right next to the main entrance. And this is also so, so well preserved. And remember what I said? What? About the painting. This yeah. is what I meant. Yeah, it's so beautiful, always in Belgium. And actually all these very tiny ornaments inside. All these figurines. Old picture. Man, you literally don't know where to look. No. Priceless. Have a look in here. There is so, so many unique art. I really like the contrast between the dark green walls and then the red carpets. It's so unique and also these curtains, wow. Then there is a huge cabinet over here filled with clothes. Jackets, of course. Man. What's in the other one? Yeah, there's even more. Just overstuffed. So sad, I really hope that this man has some relatives who will save everything soon. I hope so, but sadly enough, I don't think so. No, it's rather unsure to happen in the near future. Some magazines from the years 2000. Yeah. Over there is actually a travel book from Italy. Well, we found the wine bottles from Italy, so... 90% sure that you went to Yeah. Have a look at this one over here. Unbelievable. What a piece. And then right next to this was actually the toilet. And the toilet itself isn't that special. But this... This is so, so unique. Oh my gosh. The mirror on the wall, but that's not the special thing. Have a look over here at the crane. No, there's no water running. The water is too enough. But what is this actually? It's like a fish, right? Yeah, it's a fish and it's coming out of his mars. Unbelievable. I've never seen a crane like this. Never. 
Even not in the other millionaire's mansions we did. And then from the hallway we were actually going to another giant corridor. This is the unique hall Moreno was talking about. Man, it always it already shows so much symmetry. And all the lights are still transmitting. It's so, so beautiful. Unbelievable, but we don't want the owner to pay any electricity bills, so... So, we're gonna turn it off again. Yeah, out of respect for them. Because somebody is still paying. Otherwise, you cannot have that much electricity running inside. No, definitely. So, we're quickly gonna show you this room. But we don't want to be too conspicuous with the street. This was just an office part. Okay, so standing in a majestic hallway again. Just yeah. point out the paintings. Man, I mean, this is such a beautiful corridor. All the paintings on each side, it literally feels like we're walking in a museum, not in a millionaire's mansion again. In a very, very nice art depot. <laughs> I'm hesitating each and every moment if this man maybe also not was a painter or an artist because there is literally so many artwork inside and maybe it was handmade. I'm not so sure maybe. but I think it was all handmade. He definitely had a good taste for art. That's obvious. Well, and then first room to enter. And actually tell them what it was. Yeah, well, this was the room. This was the clinic. This is where he received his patients. And it doesn't look like that at first sight. But right over here in the corner was actually a changing room. So if he had to do a physical examination to the patient, he would go or she would go inside of here. And then, yeah, just unclothe herself or himself and he or she would be treated and then this is a very cool part how we knew he was a GP there is many medical stuff left behind not only a blood pressure meter also test tubes there are some antidote and potions and there is even more This was actually if somebody had fever, they would give them these pills. To show it to you into more detail, that one looks repulsive. Well, you also know what this is for a tighter measurement. Yeah. Looks like this was some bandage. This was also for surgery. Empty shelf. Also empty. Yeah. And this one has only a few things. But furthermore, not, not very interesting for a medical aspect. That should be in here. What is that? I don't know. Salona. Well, there is actually a medical poster. And there is also a lot of pills inside of this one. Real pills. I don't know which pills exactly, but as you can see. Oh, I actually had this in school. He might have been a neurologist, another GP, because this is about the cranial nerves. And right over here you can see one cranial nerve, that's nerve 5. And it's innervating three different parts as it has three different branches. As you can see them in this picture over here. I learned all of this in school and it looks to me that the man was not a normal GP, as I can tell now, but a neurologist. Definitely. Very, very unique to find. 
I think this was a treating room for the patient. However, they are definitely not treating patients like this anymore nowadays in Belgium. No. This is a pretty dark room, man. It looks pretty yeah. scary, actually. Yeah, and I think I wouldn't feel very comfortable if I was treated inside of this dark room and it was closed. Indeed. You would feel pretty isolated, don't you think? Mm -hmm. And these are... you think the I literally can't see anything on it. I think they've been laying in the sun and they have just faded out because yeah. you cannot relate what it used to be anymore. No. What a dark reading room, like we mentioned. So let's resume. Let's see what other rooms we can find. Oh, over here there was actually a bathtub with a shower. This room is very pink and this was a, ba uh, a bathroom actually. Have a look. Still all the brewing products there on the shelves. Man, this looks so and so clean. Yeah. And it's also still smelling pretty clean. Not like the other rooms which smell quite moldy and dusty. Well, but if you look into the bathtub... Some dead flies and maybe even some mice droppings. Some alive spiders, we love that. <laughs> and, well, you said clean. That's oh no, this is definitely the glass peeling of the bed, of the mirrors. And it's losing. Man, some small artifacts. Yeah, those are not really artifacts, but just some cleaning things. So yeah, still some toothpaste, some hairspray. And would the water actually still be working? No, it's turned off. That's actually another sign that nobody is living inside anymore because mm -hmm. it's pretty hard to live without any water. You need it to wash your dishes, wash your clothes, wash yourself, drink. Drink indeed. Actually, well, water is quite essential if you start thinking about it. Imagine a world without water. That would be no world. And because it's so usual, we actually never think about it, but there are people in different countries which cope with this problem and don't have enough water supply. So let's just take a moment to think about them and much respect to all the people in the world who don't live a usual life like we do. Indeed, indeed. And then to imagine in contrast with that is that in this mansion everything is left unloved and there's people in the world who don't even have a shelter. Well, let's just give one message. Appreciate every little thing you have yeah. that you've been given. That's one thing for sure. Beautiful words. So, let's go on with Explore. You learned something from us about abandoned places and about life. But I want to see what's inside of here. Yeah. It's overfilled with clothing. Yeah. To show it to you into closer detail. Looks definitely like woman's clothes, I think. This was the bathroom of the wife. And then over here, it's actually quite sad to see that we were telling the place was vandalism free, but it seems that this room was ransacked and they definitely expected to find valuables. some valuables inside of the couple's bedroom. Very sad to see that this was ransacked. And then it's actually just the saddest part is that this was like their main bathroom. Yeah, I, I think they definitely expect to find some jewelry inside of this room and that's why they ransacked the place and there's even still money left behind. This is the currency we have today in Europe, the Euro, as most people might know. Still money was left, probably also still their jewelry. Everything has just been stolen and it's really, really making me sick that there's people in the world who do not have respect for other people's belongings, even if they are passed away. I mean, like, look. Yeah, they are definitely looking for jewelry, as you already been telling. This is also gold. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you can see it probably in the light. Well, what's this? It's um, um, like a woman 
it's, it's uh, like an emblem, a tablet, and yeah, it can be worth something, but as you can tell, they were not interested in it at all. They just left it over here. Very sad, man. It's actually such a pain, man. Yeah, well, I think this room is quite sad. There is also still clothes in the wardrobe, but I don't want to go into much detail because there is a lot of personal pictures as well, and it's clearly that this room was just ransacked by people in search of valuables. They have been looking for only jewelry. I mean, this is gold. This is real gold. Yeah. Did I mean like? Well, let, let's stop talking about the valuables, man. Yeah, indeed. Let's indeed. hope nobody finds this place one day because we do not want to attract any thieves or burglars. Well, let's see it. As you can tell, we they were wealthy. Hard. We work hard for everything, and I'm just gonna leave it over here. Put it back where I found it. And we're just gonna go on with explore. If you steal in abandoned places, you're a bad person. You're literally stealing from a dead person. Get yeah. that in mind, get that straight in your head. Imagine if somebody would do that when you are in your grave. Or when your dad or your parents just pass away. <laughs> Man. You, will go, you will go crazy. So. Yeah. Let the message be clear, please. For anyone watching this video and having wrong intentions. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. There's still some china in this cabinet as well. Some sheets. <laughs> There's an alarm clock. Okay. So right over here was actually another part. So when the patients actually entered this room, this was actually the waiting room before they went to the neuro neurologist, as we assume. Have a look. This was their waiting room. And even this one is just filled, filled with, with paintings. Arms. Yeah. Unbelievable. And remember, as I said at the beginning of the video, that there is some mold. Look at the ceiling. Oh yeah. You can definitely see some leakage problems as well and mold. Utterly sad to see that the place is being destroyed by nature. Okay, so we are nearing the end of the video, but there are still some very unique rooms. This one's actually leading us to the attic. Well, let's quickly have a look what the attic has to offer. Over here are some tennis rackets. I'm not sure. It has a key though. But yeah, that's all right. Oh. It's right. pretty heavy, huh? You can move it. Can you hold it on the top to take it? Alright. Yeah. Right, I need it. Okay, I'm gonna Man, this attic is gigantic, dude. Oh, the smell in here. Ah, oh, yeah. It's not smelling very good, quite dusty. I'm not wearing a mask at the moment, so I wanna pan through this pretty quickly, but there is even more art left behind. No way, Raymond. Come have a look over here, I think. There is a gun inside, I'm not sure. It was a gun. <laughs> there used to be a gun inside, but it's gone. The gun is it's gone. gone. <laughs> Sad to find out that people also steal that. And again, so much artwork. Yeah, I think he definitely was an artist. An artist, a neurologist, and somebody which had sort of a charity organization, at least it was a non profit organization. And we don't want to be too conspicuous, so we're just going to pan through this quickly. In contrast with the other rooms we showed in detail. But man. At the co-ops right over here. Yeah. We're literally walking through them right now. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, this is like a secret article where he was working. This is like an exposition. Yeah. Damn. 
This is such a unique location. Yeah. I think it's definitely in the top for us, what we ever saw in Belgium. Man. No words, dude. No, not at all. So this was actually another room filled with his art. We already found so many art pieces. There is even a calendar dated from 1980. Have a look. <laughs> it's unbelievable. There is also so many murals and posters on the wall. This room just seemed another storage. And maybe also some posters to brainstorm about all these different ideas about the world, about children development, about their well-being, because that was his main topic of interest, to get with the medical stuff he loved, and clearly, all the art. So it's time to show you the last things inside the mansion. And wow, this was a unique adventure. And I sincerely hope you all enjoyed it as much as we did. Because being back in Belgium, Never felt so special before. This bathroom is seriously pristine. Each room contains paintings. Unbelievable. Man. I'm speechless by this place. And I really want to know your opinion too. So if you made it this far to the video. First of all. Thank you very much from the both of us. But also. Leave in the comment section what your opinion about this is because I think finding something like this being neglected is only possible in Belgium in this untouched state man oh yeah we found these ones before with the zipper yeah where these wild ropes whoa oh have a look over there <laughs> it's actually a taxidermy bird and the fake flowers, very colorful. And I think there's even more clothes in these wardrobes. Oh yeah, and those are pretty colorful actually. Yeah. Do you think they belong to the daughter? Because they look quite small and yeah. the bed is also very small. Yeah, this was definitely for a child. A child. Wow. She had fashion, uh, fashion clothes, man. Damn. I only had like <laughs> a plain t-shirt. <laughs> you know why I was thinking to find children's clothes? Why? The bed definitely looked like a children's bed. Yeah. And definitely two children. Because one over here and one over there. Yeah. But bro, I think we came to the end point of a unique explorer. Yeah. So we will see the people outside and we're gonna make sure we come out of here safely because we are quite nervous to explore a place like this it's so hard to believe this being neglected it is it is i mean like it just look you know when it's been recently and just the way it looks electricity is still transmitting and you're like there is dust over here but yeah, what happened to the person there are so many questions going around and you yeah have, you're you know, also quite worried about what happened with the people indeed indeed and that's that's actually the first thing you talk about you just think about and you talk about with each other like what happened why is this just neglected but wow I'm, yeah i'm so amazed actually i'm so 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 amazed about this well place. bro let's make sure we go outside and then we will film the outro there yeah. and thank all the people indeed indeed all right so that was it for this week's video a unique place in belgium which absolutely made us speechless yeah. the abandoned millionaires mansion again this has been a long time yeah 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 and it was actually again so sad to see this being neglected but so so wonderful i really enjoyed it and we were very happy we were outside the mission worked and we captured it all in each and every aspect so if you enjoyed watching guys as much as we did exploring this place you know the drill hit that like button subscribe down below also leave a nice comment down below and leave your opinion what you thought about this video 
And like we always say, we will see you on, on our next, next adventure. adventure. Peace, Peace out. out.